Today is Saturday, November 25th, 2023, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is Praying to Effect Changes. Our theme scripture is taken from James 5, verse 16 of the Amplified Classic, and it says, The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. Hallelujah. Our opening verse is quite instructive. Pastor begins. It says, The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. Who is a righteous man? That's you. That's me. Glory to God. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 tells us that God has made you righteous. In the mind of God, you are as righteous as Jesus is righteous because the righteousness that you have is the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. In the 17th verse of James chapter 5, Elijah is cited as an example of a righteous man whose prayer was effective. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Think about that. Now, Pastor goes on to say, Elijah prayed that way because of the sins of the nation. The nation had regressed and turned to the worship of Baal. So, he prayed for a change, and one of the things he wanted was for there to be no rain for three and a half years to get the people's attention. When the people repented, or the Bible says, Elijah prayed again, and the heavens gave rain. We can make remarkable changes through prayer that even heaven will respond, Pastor says. Elijah's prayer was deeply heartfelt and continued. He displayed unyielding persistence. That's how you pray when you are set to effect changes. You don't give up. You don't give in. You persist until there is a change. Pastor concludes. And dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, Dear Father, Thank you for the privilege to pray and side with you to enforce your will in the earth and in the lives of men through my heartfelt continued prayer I make tremendous power available for peace tranquility advancement abundance and prosperity for the nations of the world that they may experience your goodness in Jesus name Amen Alright for further study please read Luke 18 verse 1 Romans 8 26 to 27 and then Ephesians 6 verse 18 of the Amplified Classic says Pray at all times, on every occasion, in every season, in the Spirit, with all manner of prayer. We know you have been blessed by this excerpt. We'd like to invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by saying this prayer. Say, O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe. He died for me, and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Congratulations, you are now a child of God. If you've said this prayer, kindly send us a message 
or call the following numbers now showing on your screen. God bless you.